All right, Alex, you were uh, under Tim Flynn at Edinburgh and Lou Roselli. You always talk about those guys being real good guys, good family men. And Cliff Moore, my senior year, he was and, good too. And Cliff. Um, but talk about uh, Zaleski, man. You, you love working with Coach Z. You got a ton of respect for him. But, you know, what is what do those guys, what characteristics do they share? Oh, shoot. Between Tim and uh, yeah, yeah. Jimmy Z? Yeah. Um, hardworking, intelligent, loyal, respectful, honest, caring, compassionate, open. Uh, I mean, I think extremely highly of them, both of them. I, I've been truly blessed, like in the sport of wrestling, to be around good people from the time I was young, just a pee wee to, to now. And uh, I mean, in any walk of life, you get some bad eggs. I mean, I think our sport has more good eggs than bad eggs, but I think I've been blessed to be around some of the best eggs. So I feel very, very lucky and fortunate that I've been with those two, uh, two men in my life. What's your, your favorite thing about, uh, let's say, Flint? My favorite thing about Tim? Um, Probably just about like how much he cares about his athletes. You know, like I had some injury trouble and uh, whatnot, and he never once wavered. He stuck by me, always supported me, believed in me. Uh, I drew a lot of confidence in myself from him, and he, he cares about all his athletes like that. Whether it's a third string guy or Gregor and you know Jared King, national champion guys, he he loves his guys, and uh, I, I hope that I, you know, my guys feel the same about me. So. All right. What's your favorite thing about Z? Just the way he treats people. Um, he uh, he's so fair with everybody, almost to a fault, maybe. He just uh, you never hear a bad word out of him. He doesn't he doesn't badmouth people. He never talks badly about any situation he's ever been in or had. He um, he doesn't complain. He doesn't moan. He just tries to make the most out of everything. And uh, I say he's like a he just packs his lunch every day and grabs his silver bucket and goes to goes to the grind. And, uh, I think that's probably what I like the most about Z. Okay, is, is Tim the same way in a lot of ways? Oh, uh, Tim's. I mean, his work ethic. I mean, that program is probably second to none. Whether it's you know recruiting kids, evaluating talent, or uh, making calls, fundraising, hustling people. You know. For lack of a better Not word. hustling like you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, like just working hard, man. Yeah, constantly like just looking out for his program, like trying to make sure like Edinburgh's out there and that uh, they have the funds necessary to be a, a national contender and uh, you know a top ten team or a team trophy team and hopefully maybe a national champion team someday. I mean that's what I always say. I always say Tim's a hustler. He just always hustling, like always on the go. I, I, I don't know if that man ever sleeps. <laughs> so. He sleeps in the airport, I guess, when he's hobo Joe in it. So. <laughs> Where are you taking me, dude? We, what? Huh. we are out um, west, like kind of southwest of Corvallis, um, going through a little logging community, Philomath, and uh, we're now kind of on the Alsea Highway, going to uh, up Mary's Peak. It's uh, people out east would probably call it a mountain out here. They call it a hill, uh, but it's called a, a peak, I guess, for. Is what the ultimate word is. It's called Mary's Peak, and we are winding our way up it slowly but surely. All right, Alex. Hey, thanks for the time, man. Thanks for the ride. Oh yeah, my pleasure.